Amelie really loves coming in for therapy. She's usually more excited about coming here than she is going to school, so that's always a positive. And now with the sensory heart bite, that's made a big difference. It's been a big life changer for us. Amelie was diagnosed with autism when she was about two and a half. And from about two years and nine months, we have been with kids, our kids doing speech therapy, OT, seeing sights, all that sort of thing. Um, it's amazing how far she's come. Many children with developmental difficulties have differences in the way that they process sensory experiences. So just imagine walking down the street. You've got the sights, the smells, the sounds, the feel. If you don't have an inbuilt mechanism for making sense of all of this information, it must be terrifying. And that's why this facility is just so important. It provides a safe haven in which nerves can be calmed and therapies can be more effective. It provides the best possible mechanism for the best possible therapies to lead to the best possible outcomes for our kids. Oh, Pop, you gotta go! I gotta go! When Braden enters the hub, it's like a, a complete switch. It completely focuses him. So he comes in here, he gets his energy out in the play area, and then he goes into the calming room and it's like, um, it's like a different child. You're able then to focus for the next 45 minutes to get a really good session out of him. The kids are learning that they have to respond to their environment just as much as learn the skills independently of what's going on around them, uh, which makes it, it, it does make it an easier transition into world outside therapy. Uh, the rollers are fantastic. He rolls through them. He's like, he plops out of the end and he just loves it. You can really see the difference in him. So I've got a large number of kids that are non-verbal. Coming into this exploration hub, they have a range of highly desirable items to choose from and it is a strong enough motivator for them to use their words. Four, three, two, one. Yeah, when Braden sits into the, um, the calming chair, I think with the, the music and the vibration, that's probably the, his most favourite thing. You can see him just completely relax. It was the most beautiful thing to watch, actually. The sensory room has really helped with my understanding of the sensory needs. I had no idea before I came in here what a sensory diet was or how to regulate him. Coming in here has just given me so much more understanding and how I can implement small changes into his daily routine. It's been amazing. Uh, the Exploration Hub has been a great tool for parents and families to understand how their child interprets the, their world through the different sensory needs. Now Emily is fully verbal. Um, her sensory needs have really reduced. She's learned how to cope um, and employ calming skills and things that we've also learned to be able to help her Having this facility anywhere in the world is amazing. To have it right here in Perth, that's very special.